Greetings everybody! Today we are going to go over your quarterstaff kata, which you can get a black stripe for uh, here at the Lutus. Um, we don't do a lot of katas, you may notice. I prefer drills, which help you perfect the skills that you need so you can use them in actual situations. The few katas that we do, uh, we do the Wing Chun Dummy, we do the quarterstaff, um, help you to get some basic movements down. The 116 moves on the Wing Chun Dummy contains a lot of the knowledge of Wing Chun, which is why we do it. With the quarterstaff, this teaches you some basic strikes and also some basic ways to hold the staff and also to get it moving around. And it also looks cool. It's also for you as you're growing, your minds are developing, having a system of moves like this helps you practice your memory and your focus. Okay? So a couple things real quick with the staff. Um, European quarter staff, we have what we call short form. Where I'm here, you notice, I typically like to, in my general fighting stance with the staff, I have my my strong hand in an underhand grip and my weak hand in an overhand grip. This is called short form because I can't reach as far. But the benefit is I can attack with this side of the staff, I can attack with this side of the staff, I can attack with the middle of the staff, okay? Now long form, if you notice, I'm in the same grip. But I have my staff out in front, it's long form because I can keep you farther away. We're going to go through both of those in this kata. You can also do a double overhand grip, which is going to happen in this kata. So notice those changes. I'm going to show you this all the way through from the front and then from the side, and then we'll break it down into parts so you can practice. All right? We're going to start in a ready position like this, hands at our side, as if you don't even have a staff. Some people do this. Uh, have your hands relaxed at both sides. Then we bring our hand across our heart, and we salute. And we come into our short form to start, and I'm going to go through it straight from here. Try this from the side. My space here is not the best. I don't have quite enough room here, but we'll see what we can do. I am going to adjust back because I need to move forward on this one. So I just did my roll and my block. So you've seen the whole kata, let's break this down into sections. The first section, one through six, are basic attacks from short form. So I'm in short form. Notice, very important, I got my fighting stance. I'll do this from the side first. There's a very important thing here I want you to see. When you do one and two, boom, or anytime you do those straight strikes, in this pattern, notice my stick is coming to my shoulder, my staff. A lot of people have it up here. If this gets hit, it can come into your neck, okay? Another common mistake that people make is they'll put this underneath. That's not, that's not a bad strike or whatever. It's just not what we're doing in this combat. So when I do that first strike with the right, I want this to come to my shoulder, okay? Adjust your hand so that you're holding it correctly. All right, so one and two are to the side. Three is a downward strike. Four is a thrust. Five, I come back up. Notice, I'm still here at my shoulder. And then six, I stay up, okay? So from the front, one time all the way through. One, two, three, four, five, six. From this side, one, notice I'm at my shoulder. Two, three, downward strike. Four, thrust. Five, upward strike. Six, back, from the other side. One, two, notice the shoulder. Three, four, five, six. That is moves number one through six, your basic strikes. All right, so now we're gonna move seven through 10, okay? You just done your basic strikes and you wound up here in this position, okay? I'm gonna do it from this side first so you can see. First part of number seven is I slide my hand back to my other hand. And then I bring this behind my back for seven. Eight, I roll it around to the other side. One thing, this is a common mistake people make in the beginning on this, is they'll go here and then they don't touch their body. 
This staff, boom, don't forget, this is important, bring it back here, is rolling right around your body, okay? You can get to where you can do this really quickly. I'm basically pushing the staff and letting it go and catching it on the other side. So from the front, I'm here, I have that slide the hand back. Bring this behind you and this hand comes out, okay? This rolls around, I reach across and go here for eight, okay? You can practice this until you can do it pretty, pretty quickly, okay? So one more time, I just did six, I go seven, eight. Now number nine is a spin. I'm going to spin the staff clockwise, okay? A couple times and then I come right back to my short form position, okay? When you're spinning the staff, so I just went here, boom. I bring this out in front of me. This hand is up waiting to catch. And then this hand is gonna let it go and catch here. And then I can fall right back down to my short form position. This is where we transition to long form. So the movement and sliding of your hands is gonna be really important for a lot of these moves. So I slide my hand out to the end, and then like I'm chopping wood, I come down to my strike, just like strike number one, but now I'm in long form, okay? From here, after you spin, boom, slide the hand out. I'm not bringing the staff all the way to the ground. I bring it down basically parallel to the ground, okay? So let's look at those guys again. Seven, eight, nine, ten from the side. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And now you are in long form for the next little bit of this cut. All right, so we've just done move number ten. We're going to stay in long form, okay, for the next couple of moves. Now, the thing is, there's in Filipino martial arts, we have heaven position where your weapon is coming out of your hand this way, and then we have earth position where your weapon is coming out this way. You can see that when you're holding a knife and you have the blade coming out here, or you have the blade and the knife coming out this way, you can slash. So we start out in heaven position, okay? Now, to get to that reverse grip, I do 10, then a simple move from here is I do 11 as a thrust. Now from the thrust, I go back and I'm gonna walk my hands to the end of the staff. Now I am in long form earth position. Long form helps you by keeping the person away. So right now my staff's away from me, not helping. So I'm gonna pull this like I'm pulling a lever and I strike up for 12. 13 is another stab. 14, I'm gonna strike the ground like I'm striking the foot. Okay, we'll talk about 15 in a second, but let's get those first part down. So you had 10, 11, walk the hands, one, Two, 12, boom, strike again, 13, 14, come down, get power generated there. From the front, you have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay? Now, move number 15, I'm gonna break that down into its own little section, but I'm gonna go like this, like I'm holding a bow and arrow, getting ready to shoot, and I'm gonna go back to my heaven position. So I go one, two, and now I'm going to jump up and come down and strike the ground. I'll do it first, and then we'll talk about it in the next little section. So I come up. Okay? So that's where you go from there. That moves 10 through 15, and we'll break 15 down real quick, too. All right, so let's talk about move number 15. You've just done your strike on the ground. I do a little squat here. I'm going to come up. This is how your grip is going to go. Hold this up, again, like you're shooting a bow and arrow. And I'm going to go one, two, and then I jump. Once you understand that, that transition of grip should happen while you're in the air, okay? All right, so from here, boom, don't forget that transition. I'm gonna do the next part. So I come up, boom. When you're coming down, imagine there's like an orange on the ground right here, and you're trying to cut in half. So it's almost like you're punching the ground. Be careful, a lot of people when they first start doing this will do this, and you can break your staff that way. And it also doesn't give you as good of a sound as when I come Okay, get that. Keep your eyes up. Okay? So one more time. 14. Here. Boom. Come up. One, two. Jump. Notice how I'm arching that back and really getting up like I'm coming down with a lot of power. Okay? Again, once you understand it, I'm gonna jump first and do my transition in the air. Okay? And you're gonna stay down here. Head, you're in a good squat. My my eyes are forward and I'm looking at my opponent. All right, so we've just done move number 15. This is the part where we're gonna start needing some space on the floor. So for 16, I'm gonna put my left knee down, and I'm gonna reach out as far as I can with my right, and I shoot my staff forward, almost like I'm shooting a pool ball. 
okay? And then from here, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna spin this over my head and bring it behind my back. That's 17, 18, okay? The direction I'm spinning is this way over my head because that comes right into your 18 right there, okay? So again, once you've done 15, left knee down, reach out as far as you can, lean into it. Spin this back like a helicopter over your head and then bring your staff here to 18. From the front, we just did 15, boom. I come in, shoot, spin the staff over my back. All right, we've just done move number 18. For the next one, you have to be able to do a forward roll. And you have to be able to do it while holding your staff. Very important when you roll, do not roll on your staff, okay? From here, I'm gonna take the staff in both hands. I now have an overhand grip, which we're gonna stay in. And I'm gonna bring the staff down and I'm gonna roll past it. And I'm gonna come right up into a block, okay? So, from here, we just did 18. Staff comes forward, I roll forward. And I block here. Probably not the most practical thing. I'm coming forward and blocking. Maybe I was trying to attack and they throw an attack at me, boom. But that also, it just kind of has that cool look with the forward roll and getting that staff up. Okay, so that is move number 19. Forward roll coming up into a block of an attack coming towards your head. We have just done move number 19. Now I'm gonna stand up and attack. I'm staying in my double overhand grip. The next series of moves, it's like you're rowing a kayak backwards, okay? So if you're rowing a kayak, you're going along this way. And then you see the waterfall coming. Oh, you're trying to get away. That's the attacks we're doing from here. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with the attack on the left side. That's 20. On 21, I come up. 22, I go again. And 23, I switch into double overhand long form, okay? So I'm here. That's moves number 20 through 23. Watch it again one more time. This one's a little complicated until it sinks into your brain. So you're starting with the left side attack first, coming up. It's not down, that's gonna be the mistake you're gonna make in the beginning. You're attacking up, then you stand up, attack with the other side, attack with the other side, slide the hand in the transition, and then you come to here, okay? And then the next part of this, we're gonna be doing defense. We get attacks coming to our legs. So I'm gonna back up, block that side, block that side, block that side, okay? So those tacks, those blocks, are like an upside down windshield work. So let me show you this from where you are at. So we're here on 19, we go 20, 21, 22, shift the hands, boom, you stop there. Now you see that tack coming, step back and block, step back and block, step back and block. All right, so we've just done our three blocks on the low line. Now, this is gonna be a weird hand transition. I'm gonna turn this hand over. So I'm getting ready to get back to my traditional grip with this. And now I'm gonna do a big stepping forward, attack forward, okay? So let's go back through those guys again. I got my double overhand grips, okay? I'm here, I step and block, step and block, step and block. Transition the hand over to here, that's gonna feel weird at first. And then I step in, big attack forward, okay? And then from here, I'm gonna do like I did with 16, but I'm standing up. I'm extending the attack out as far as possible, and then I put the staff down as far as I can reach it, okay? So let's do this whole little bit right from here, okay? So we have 24, 25, 26, okay? Switch the hand, 27, 28, 29, and then you're gonna come up here for 30 where we get to here, and you'd be facing the end. That is the end of your quarter staff, kata. So let's do this a little bit again at the end. Okay, so we have our three blocks. Transition, step, like a big attack. Reach out as far as you can. Put the staff down. I'm gonna pull it back to me. You wanna go to it just so we stay in frame. Come in here. We get back to a ready position. And then we have finished the quarter staff kata. 